given unto us to share the word, uh, to have some time to fellowship together. The Bible says that the Lord is good and his mercies endures forever. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to talk about uh, three things in which God cannot fail. Three reasons why God cannot fail. Cannot fail. Praise the name of the Lord. And it is good for you to take the word of God that we are learning today seriously because the issues that we shall be discussing are in accordance to the word. And God cannot fail. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, I want us to go to the book of Isaiah 55. And I would like us to begin at verse number 8, all the way to verse number, number 11. The Bible says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and your thoughts than uh, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it uh, bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word that goes uh, out of my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. May God bless his word. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, the words that we are sharing today, uh, one of the key things in which God cannot fail and should never be expected to fail is number one, concerning his word. Concerning his word. Praise the name of the Lord. In the areas you don't expect God to fail, you don't expect God to do otherwise, it is the word. For every word he has spoken, in his word he says, that as the water, as the rain falls to the ground, as the snow comes down, and it does not return there, from where it came from, until it has accomplished its purpose, so shall it be with my word. Hallelujah. So shall it be with my word. Concerning the word that I have spoken, it shall be like this. That I have spoken, I will do it. Buenas fe sana. Na subuhi ya leo, ninataka uone mambo matatu ya muhimu kulihusu neno rabwana. Na nitasema hivi, kuna kazi yako ya kufanya. Hata kama mungu wa mesema, concerning my word I cannot fail. There is something you must do for the word to come to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, majority of the people today just believe that because God spoke, he will do it. Somehow, somewhere. In some ways, he will do it. Lakini ni muhimu ujifudisha ya kwamba, neno lide mungu ameongea, ili liweze kutimia, kuna mambo anatarajia kutoka kwa yule alie risikia neno. Praise the name of the Lord. There are things expected to you, you who is a hearer of the word. Because no matter what God speaks, it has a precondition somewhere. There is a condition that God expects you to fulfill so that he can also fulfill his word. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to note the following, uh, because even as we talk about the word of God, it is good for you to understand the word of God is God. The word of God is God. Neno ra mungu ni mungu. Hawezi separate mungu na neno. There is no line between God and his word. So, in other words, your perception about God should be the same perception concerning his word. Praise the name of the Lord. If you know God to be mighty, you must also have that 
conscience that his word is as mighty as he is. Because his word is himself. Praise the name of the Lord. Secondly, the word of God is powerful. The word of God is powerful. Neno la mungu linangufu. Because it carries his power. Praise the name of the Lord. The word does not carry its own power somehow. Some, no, no. It carries the power of God. So whenever there is a word from God, it is good for you to have the same conscience that the word carries power. Buenas Fesano. Uh, there are so many things that we may say concerning the word. But I think for now, let me stop there. I hope to continue as we continue in the word of God. So the word of God is God. The word of God is God. The word of God carries power. It has power. So when the word is spoken, it has power. It is not just spoken for the sake of it. It comes with the power. It comes with authority. Glory be to God. I want you to note this also because I think leaving this out uh, is leaving one important element. The word of God has the capacity to work. The word of God has the capacity to work. In other words, it is able to do things. Praise God. Because I want you to see something eh? in the book of genesis chapter number three when the devil came to the garden of eden uh in the well he came as a serpent all right and uh what did he attack first when he wanted to attack eve and destroy what god wanted to create in the garden of eden what did he attack the word praise the name of the lord so you must understand the importance of the word the value of the word. And you must know that there is a fight that will be going in on in your life. As long as you live concerning the word of God. Kuna vita utapigana sana inahusu neno rabwana. Maana shetani anataka udaut neno. Kwa sababu anajua uweza ulio katika neno. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe. Je wajua ya kwamba kuna mambo hata wakati mungu anataka kufanya katika maisha yako. He depends on whether there is a word in your life. Am I talking to somebody? God wants to work in your life, but he depends on the word. The word of God, according to the book of Hebrews, somewhere in chapter 4, says that the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. It is able to separate the bones and the marrow, the flesh and the bones. It has the power to separate. The devil knows the power of the word. And that is why the devil would like you to remain without the word in your life building your life on something else but not the word because the devil knows concerning the word god will never fail concerning his word because of his word he cannot fail praise the name of the lord i have told you many times when a god said i will take you from this land to the land of canaan yes he destroyed millions of people on the way but there are two people who came to Canaan. Of the generation that had the word. There are two people, Joshua and Caleb. Because God somehow had to fulfill his word. Mutu wa siji akasema mungu, ulisema utatufikisha na hakuna mutu walifika. Lakini kuna Joshua na Caleb waliofanya nini? Waliofika. Forget about the rest of the guys. Because they were young. And they were not judged. They were not able to discern even the word of God. But of the generation that was able to hear, understand the word, and walk with the word, Joshua and Caleb represented the word of God will come to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. So the word. You must know the place of the word. There are three things which are contained in the word of God. Number one, commandments. And you can put a stroke instructions. And uh, we will come to that. Because you need to hear and understand it properly. The commandments. 
the instructions. And I want you to know something. Concerning the commandments of God, they are, are, they are there for your own good. And within the commandments, there are instructions. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to say this, commandments are, and instructions are meant for guiding our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Guiding us on the ways of life. How to live. So neno wakati unapata neno pale, liko na amuli pale dane, ni kwa sababu ya kukuonyesha jia unayostahili kuipita. Na jia ambao haustahili kupita. Jia ikuperekayo katika uzima, na jia ikuigizao katika mauti. That is the reason why there is the commandments. Praise the name of the Lord. The commands are there as a keeper to your left and a keeper to your right. So that you don't stray. Hallelujah. You don't go astray. So it is good for you to understand. And I, I'll talk about each element properly. Number two, in the word of God, there are promises. In the word of God, there are promises. We'll come to that in a short while. And number three, in the word of God, there are covenants. There are covenants in the same word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, it is good for you to note this. That concerning the commandments, these are what I would say, things you are supposed to do. The things you must do. Are we together? Commandments are things you must do. You are not asked whether you feel good or you don't feel good. Are you comfortable or are you uncomfortable? The commandments are supposed to be done just as they are. Nimefundisha hapa tena nikawambia, if you will benefit from the word of God, you will benefit the day you learn to keep the word of God in its simplicity without trying to complicate the word. Stop trying to complicate the word. Stop trying to deduce the word. Unajaribu kujuliza kama hili neno ni kweli ama si kweli. Una debate na neno kama ni Mungu aliogea ama ni Musa tu alio, aliona mavitu akaandika. Huenda ikawa Joshua ni vile alikuwa amekunywa pombe siku hiyo akaandika mavitu hapo abazo wazieleweke. Amen. Na si Biblia inaonyesha watu walikuwa wanakunywaga pombe. Si hata Nuhu alikunywa akalala bila guo. Mnajua vizuri imeandikwa kwa Biblia. So hata hata sasa hauwezi jua. Lakini shetani nimekwambia ata attack neno kwa sababu anajua imani yako katika neno itakujenga na jia ambao whatever you do you never fail and i wish you can learn the truth about the word of god you take the word in its simplicity the commandments that are given in the word follow them without questioning the day you teach yourself to stop questioning and deducing the word the word will work for you but as long as you keep on arguing with the word, thinking about the word, is it true or not true? That word you are arguing with will never work for you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh? Neno linasema toa fugu la 10. Wewe unakaa ukibishana hiyo ni agano la kale ama ni agano jipya. Sasa nabona una unajua kuna watu ambao unabidi uogereshwe vibaya saa ingine. Nikuulize hivi. Bona unataka kuamini Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 15 lakini unataka kuamini verse 17 kwenda chini hapo hauamini lakini hapo pa I am the head I am not the tail mpaka una unaonyesha na ishara the head not the that one you can believe but the word that says you shall be cast if you don't keep this word that word you don't follow you don't believe it you don't take it Bona swe sana Na kanisa la New Testament nimewafundisha mara nyingi kitu moja kinatunyima nguvu katika kanisa la agano jipya ni kwamba watu wamekuwa wachaguzi wa neno maneno yale wataamini wanachagua katikati ya neno rote wanachagua chagua hii nitashika ah hii hapana hii nitashika hii hapana kuna mambo of course tulisema tunasema ya kwamba kuligana na biblia it is already out of place praise the name of the lord 
Right like now, we cannot come here with a goat and say that because of the sins of the whole year, uh, December that the first, we shall sacrifice a goat here. So, kindly everybody, akuja na buzi. Iyo zaza ni kupotea. Kwa sababu neno li natuonyesha Yesu, kodo wa buwana. Na Yohana kamutangaza, kasema, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So Jesus died to take away the sins. So for that one, we can exempt. We know it is cancelled in the New Testament. But there are things that were never cancelled. Praise the name of the Lord. When God talked about uh, things that we should do, there, there are things that were never cancelled. I know there are people who argue, oh, uh, Jesus, before Jesus died, that is when we were tithing. So after Jesus died, there's no tithe. We are all priests, so we can eat. You can eat your tithe because you are also a priest. And that is the word of, in fact, the Bible says we are priests and kings unto our God. Lakini uchunge vitu zinaitwa confusion. Nimewaambia shetani ana attack nini? Neno. Kwa sababu anajua ukisimama juu ya neno, whatever you do, we will succeed. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, so in the word there are the promises. Praise the name of the Lord. And there are also covenants. Sinimeasama mambu matatu. So turudi katika sehemu ya kwanza. Nimesema amuri. Na nimekutajia Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 inasema ya kwamba. And the word of the Lord or the Lord said unto Moses. If you keep my words and diligently pursue to, to do them. These blessings will come to you. I shall make you greater than all the nations. You shall be the head and not the tail. The diseases you have seen in Egypt, you will never see them in your life. Akasema ahadi nyingi. Akasema mambo mengi pale. Amuri hizi mukizifuata. Kuna kitu ni metaja wale ambao tumekuwa nao siku nyingi. Umewai sikia rakini. Andika tu kwa sababu kuadika hakuna hasara utaenda. The promises and the covenants of God are anchored in the, in, the, in the commandments. The promises and the covenants of God are anchored on the commandments of God. Jina nabona libarikiwe. Iyo ni kusema na mnagani. Ahadi zozote zile mungu watakupea. Ata mungu wakikuambia ni takupea gali. Nitakuinua Nitakufanya mkubwa Neno lile ameahidi Linategemea Neno lile alikuamuru Lifanywe And I want to say this The commandments of, of God Or God's commandments Are nothing Unless they are obeyed They are nothing Praise the name of the Lord. They are of no use. They are not valuable. They are not powerful until you teach yourself to do them. Amuri zile mungu watakupea. Akasema usiibe. Ukitaka kuona nguvu yake ni ukose kuiba. Lakini ukivunja ile dio utagudua. Nguvu iliyokuwa katika neno lile lilisema usiibe. Sana. I know in life kuna watu wanaishi kuligret na ni amuri moja tu walivunja walipo ivunja dio waligudua nguvu iliyokuwa katika neno lile mungu walikuwa mewapea dio waligudua wakati mtu washa ingia katika mutego dio analia raizia kwamba this covenant this, this word that I was given was so powerful in my life. It was so important. In my life. Praise the name of the Lord. So. The commandments. Have no value. They are just useless words. Until you teach yourself. To do them. I think I taught. A few weeks ago. About the word. And I said this. The word is unlocked in the doing. 
the word, the power it carries, the authority within the word is only unlocked when you begin to, to do the word. So, ukitaka kujua nguvu ambao neno limebeba, enda uanze kufanya lide neno. That is when you realize the power in the word. Praise the name of the Lord. E, lakini kama lide neno hauja anza kulifanya, basi haulijui. E, tuende Jeremiah sura ya kwanza. Very briefly. And then we will, we will be returning to Isaiah 55 again. For those who are joining us, God bless you. Isaiah uh, Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse number, verse number 12. The Bible says, uh, let me read verse 11 and 12. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see an almond branch. Then the Lord said to me, that is verse number 12, you have seen well, for I am watching over my word to perform it. I am watching over my word to perform it. There are other versions that say, I am hastening my word to perform it. I would do things to fulfill my word. Concerning the word of God, he cannot be expected to fail. Usitarajie mungu kupungukiwa, kukosa kutimiza, lide neno alido peano. Buwana yesu atukuzwa. Na nimesema mara nyingi neno rabuana tunaligawana mara mbili. Neno hiri ambaro limeandikwa, nimewambia sana logos, it is the word of God. Neno rapiri ni lide tunaita rema. Neno raleo. Neno lide mungu huzugumza wakati huu. Praise the name of the Lord. Maneno hayo yote mawidi. Iwe ni neno hili ulisoma katika bibiria. Iwe ni neno lide ulisikia. Sauti ya mungu ikanena. Ama likaneno wakama siku ya leo. Na ndiyo maana ni vizuri unapokuja ibada. Come with an open heart. Come with an open mind. Be ready for the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I've seen people who do not believe in what the minister is saying. And therefore, the word does not work in their lives. Na hebu ni kuambia unaeza keti katika ibada. Mambo makubwa ya nenwe. Lakini ukitoka kwa hile frame, unawata kila kitu huku, unaenda bila. Because your heart never accommodated the word. It never took the word of God as it was. Praise the name of the Lord. I will keep on reminding you this word. Let the word of God get to you in its simplicity. Stop trying to deduce and understand the word. Sometimes you don't understand it. Just follow it. Fuata hilo neno. Ivo tuli nasema. Hata kama ulierevi. Wee lifuate. Wacha likashindiwe na huko mbere. Jina na buwana libarikiwe. Kama hariku toka kwa kinywa cha mungu. Neno hilo hata ukiedna naro litashindwa. Lakini kama neno lilitoka kwa kinywa cha mungu. Litafanya kazi. Buwana yesu wa sifiwa. Process ya neno ni mewabia mara nyingi kona stage tatu. Stage one is the hearing. Stage one is the hearing. Somebody speaks or you read the Bible or God reveals the, the word to you. So the first thing is hearing. Step two is believing that word. Receiving the word and believing in it. You receive the word. You take that word. Praise the name of the Lord. And run with the word. Uriamini lide neno ulipoke na ukimbie naro. Ulichukue kwamba nirako. And I want to say this. Until you teach yourself to personalize the word of God, it will never work for you. Can I repeat the word again? Until you teach yourself to personalize the word. Make the word personal. Wacha kufanya neno kama limeneno hapa niretu. Ae na eleo. Hei mungu walifikia watu. Sasa, kulikuwa na watu wama we ulikuwa. Tulikuja ama ulikuja. Wewe ndi unajua umefika katika uwepo wabwana. Si mama sikia lide neno. Keti katika ibada ukisikiza neno. Beba lide neno umesikia. Jina na buwana libarikiwe. Na nilikuambia wakati mwingine kama unataka neno kufanya kazi. Take it in its simplicity. Walk with that word in its simplicity. Enda na hilo neno. Hivo linasema ya kwaba mungu atahurumia watu wake. Enda ukiliamini ya mesema atahurumia watu. Na mimi sinimutu. Wana yesu asifiwe. Na nimekuabia uwe unajiodoa kwa watu. Wakati unataka kuenda na neno rabwana, odokea watu. Praise the name of the Lord. 
odokea watu jitoe katikati ya watu jitoe ya kwamba Mungu watu waliabiwa tuliabiwa a uh-uh. Joshua na Caleb the difference between Joshua and Caleb and the other guys who had the word of God is that Joshua believed the word of God go and read your bible in the book of Hebrews chapter number 12, chapter number 11 the chapter of the heroes of faith and Joshua and Caleb are mentioned why the bible says they believed the word wao hawakulichukulia neno kama vile wengine oh hata sisi tumekufa tumekufia jagwani no 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 they took the word of god at the personal level wakaenda na neno na likatimia bwana yesu atukuzwe wakati walifika kanan i don't know whether this should be chapter 14 of the book of joshua kale baliabia joshua ya kwamba you remember the word of god through his servant moses that he said where my feet has trodden it shall be given unto me so give me the mountain give me the land where i came to you know very well we came as spies in the land and i came here and there is a place ambao nilisimama that is the place nipe neno la bwana lilisema kareb hakusema ya kwamba mungu unajua alisema tutapewa a a alisema personal nipe portion yangu kuligana na lile neno la bwana na dio ninawaambia neno la Mungu halitafanya kazi mpaka siku ile utalichukua ni rangu si ile tu ibada hii Mungu anaongea uchukue neno hili ni rangu ni mimi nina neno sio sisi ah sio watu wote wanaambiwa ni mimi kuna kitu Mungu ananizungumzia and you take that word believe the word and walk in the word praise the name of the lord so the stages of the word number one is to hear the word stage two is to receive and believe the word stage 3 is to do the word go and do what the word says enda ukifanya vile neno lilisema kama kuna kitu Mungu amesema fanyeni nami enda ukifanya hivyo usijiulize maswali usitake kujua kama kanisa ilifanya praise the name of the lord do you know there are times when uh, for example we have occasions where by god gives us occasion to pray and fast and we announce a prayer and a fasting in the church most of the times we usually have a chain fasting where we, we tell people at least in this week we are praying and fasting chukua siku kuna wakati tuliomba hapa 40 days was it 40 days eh yeah there was a time we we prayed 40 days there was a time we prayed for 21 days praise the name of the lord Yeah we started initially it was 14 and then when we came to the 14th day tukasema we extend by a week unakuta mtu tu anaangalia hiyo ana naona mnatusubua ni mtu tu kulea sasa tutakula waenda ukule lakini hiyo ndio wakati unakuta opportunity iliyokuwekwa ya kupasua mawingu mawingu na kitambaa kilicho juu yako mnakumbuka hiyo wakati tulipasua kitambaa praise the name of the lord lakini wewe unakula wakati wengine wanafunga wakati wengine wanaomba wewe ndio saa hiyo umejiweka unakula alafu unatokea na katudhi pick na unajua kuna watu hawana aibu hata hata atakula madazi hapo mkiwa na yeye anawaambia na mlea higa mnaendelea kufuga yeye anaingia mahali ya kule na mko pamoja na alikuweko mkitagaziwa hata anaanza kuleta nini vihaka na madharau ndio watu nakutana na wao siku zinafika anataka bingu zifunguliwe haziwezi fuguka maana wakati neno liliachiliwa hakulichukulia seriously i don't know why i have deviated to this the word of god every time a word is spoken andika mambo haya i don't know why i have to tell you these things one when the word of god is released it is in its season praise the name of the lord when the word of god is spoken it is in its season in fact it is a marker of a beginning of a season i hope you're writing down for your own good when the word is spoken it's a marker of a beginning of a season kuna nyakati kuna majira yameanza yameanza and you can note this also it marks a change over a time for a change 
neno likinenwa kwako linaashiria muda wa badiliko umefika wakati wa jambo kubadilika umeshafika when the word is spoken to you blessed be the name of the lord so whenever god speaks in your life hallelujah whenever god speaks in your life there is a moment of change that has come there is a moment of change that has come praise the name of the lord so the word actually talks about a change of a season i want to say this number two every word spoken from the mouth of god carries a grace at that particular time within the season of the word as long as you heard the word and you received the word and you are walking by the word of god there is a grace of the season the grace within the season neema ya majira huwa pale wakati neno limetamkwa linaashiria ama linafungulia neema fulani wepesi maana neema ni wepesi wa kufanya mambo bwana asifiwe sana neema ni uwezo wa kufanya mambo katika jia tofauti so if a man can hear the word and walk with the word he or she will walk with the grace of god there is a grace praise the name of the lord there is a a grace within the word I want you to note this also there is a divine empowerment with the word a divine empowerment with the word so when god speaks to you there is a, a power there is a strength there is an energy that comes into you when you take the word of god at the personal level you personalize the word unalifanya neno ni lako linakuja na neema na linakuja na nguvu linakupatia uwezo wa kufanya bwana yesu atukuzwe so wakati mtu anakosa neno neema nguvu ambao si nguvu ile ya, ya, ya ugali si nguvu ya akili si nguvu ya kwamba unajisikia hapana kuna nguvu inatokana na neno likiwa ndani ya mtu inafanya uwe na uweza usio wa kawaida bwana tukuzwe ukikosa lile neno hiyo nguvu haitakuwa katika maisha yako you will be a believer a very good believer but without the power of the word praise the name of the lord so i want you to know this nimesema the promises and the covenants are dependent on the the promises and the covenants are dependent on the commandments they are anchored amri ya mungu ndio the anchor kama neno lile ahadi ya mungu amekupea the promise of god ambao alisema covenant ile Mungu alifanya na wewe inategemea vile uliamini amri na ulitebea nazo namna gani ulienda ukizitenda ama wewe ulizichukulia amri kama takataka kama kitu ambao hakina faida uliziangalia namna gani amri ile Mungu amekupea e, inapaswa kuleta hilo katika maisha yako kukuleta mahali ya bapo the covenant praise the name of the lord itafanya kazi the promise will work so psalms 105 psalms 105 beginning at verse number verse number 8 and my bible reads he remembers his covenant forever the word that he commanded for a thousand generations he remembers his covenant forever If God has made a covenant with you If God has made a covenant with you he shall remember he will remember the covenant forever So kwa sababu ya hiyo ndio maana nakwambia acquaint yourself with the word Fanya neno lijulikane kwako 
ulifahamu neno ulielewe maana maagano yale Mungu ameweka katika neno atayakumbuka kwa vizazi atayakumbuka kwa miaka elfu Bwana asifiwe sana Napendezwa na hii scripture ama hii version of the Bible inasema he remembers his covenant forever does your bible say so he remembers his covenant forever and he remembers his commandments for a thousand generations neno lile amelisema agano lile aliweka ahadi zile aliahidi atazikumbuka vizazi hata vizazi atazikumbuka zile mambo aliyahidi na maneno yale alisema kwa vizazi elfu manake ni kusema i can die in the promises of god praise the name of the lord in, in fact if, if you look at the bible very clearly it means i can live and die within the promises of god niishi na nife katika maagano na ahadi za bwana yani si kupungukiwa Si kufika mahali nikaanza kuona ile ahadi ni kama ni uongo inapaswa iwe kweli na ni hakika kwa sababu Mungu amesema hivyo ahadi yake ni ya milele jina la Bwana libarikiwe Haleluya So jambo lingine ambalo ningetaka Joshua 23 verse number 14 Joshua 23 14 if you can Joshua 23 14 And what does the Bible say? Hmm? And now I am about to go the way of all the earth. And you know in your hearts and souls all of you that not one word has failed of all the good things that the Lord your God promised concerning you. Na nyinyi mnajua vyema katika mioyo yenu ya kwamba hakuna neno hata moja lile Mungu aliyahidi ambalo halikutimia maneno yote aliyoyasema aliyatenda Bwana Yesu asifiwe How many years down the line in fact that was 40 years from the time the Israelites left not even 40, 40 years but probably uh, 40 of the uh, the years in the wilderness and probably another 20 years praise the name of the Lord because Joshua died at a hundred and something years so if you look at that word Joshua is speaking when he is about a hundred and something years. Praise the name of the Lord. Sasa huyu Joshua amekaa neno la Bwana anasema ya kwamba tangu waliposema over 50 years down the line the word you knew the word you had came to pass and nothing of what he promised has failed. You can stand upon the word of God. Kuna ahadi neno limekupea you can stand upon that promise. Kuna agano neno limekuwekea you can stand upon the covenant Kama kuna jambo Mungu alieleza akasema ya kwamba hili linawezekana akakwambia nitafanya hiki you can rest assured he will do it because he is God Praise the name of the Lord and he is a faithful God So Second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse number 20 for the promises of God are yes and amen the promises of god first uh, uh, second corinthians 1:20 all right 1 verse 20 it talks about the promises of god and he says the promises of god are yes and amen ni ndio na amina full stop what argument ni mungu alisema kama amesema akaahidi hivyo amesema it is yes and amen full stop my brother Wacha kujaribu na nimekuambia kama kuna tatizo kubwa linatusumbua ni vile tunataka kulichabua neno sana tunataka kuli, kuliona kama ni kweli si kweli ai mambo sijui kama hivi iliadikwa si nimewaambia tena nikawaambia hata unaweza kujifikiria unaona kama iliadikwa na Joshua akiwa amekunywa kapobe jioni so ai inaweza kama ai ni mlevi tu aliadika akiwa hayuko soba nimewaambia vita ile kubwa utapigana katika kuhusu neno ni shetani kuattack nini neno praise the name of the lord and how does the devil attack the word he attacks the word by bringing a counter word neno linalopingana na lile la kwanza neno ambalo linadhalalisha lile neno la kwanza bwana asifiwe are you sick the devil will try to show you why you should die 
And how you will die. And when you will die. The devil will speak like that. But you must stand on the word of God. He says I sent my word. And healed their diseases. I should stand on the word. He is the one who speaks and I'll be healed. Glory be to God. When you know Pastor Gerard, Wale Amboni was a man. Amen. One of our pastors. Now, Pastor Gerard, one time, to require to na fanya kazi na e huko town. Akawa na bahatimbaya akakutana na mikora. Wakataka kumunyanganya simu. Unajua itu simu ya zamani. Kegine uliko unashikiria kama uhai wako uko hapo. Kasimu ya kwanza. Haujai pata igine. Iyo kasimu ikibiwa. Unasikia ni kama roho imeeda. Munashika eh? So alipo itishwa kasimu wakakata nae. I hope he is not watching today. <laughs> but this is his testimony. Praise the name of the Lord. So after a, a while, wale watu wali muatak na panga. Na akakatwa somewhere ya hapa. Hata waleo nafikiri ya kona karama somewhere. So, alipokuwa attacked akagongwa pale. Wakainua panga tena akaona watamukata. So, alijidefed na mukono. Mukono wa kulia. And katika kujidefed, akakatwa somewhere here. Tendons zake zikakatwa. Mishipa. Ile, ile mishipa inakontrol vidore huwe inatoka huku. So, mukia unaokontrol vidore hizi vitatu. Ukakatwa. And therefore, uh, he was incapacitated. Unfortunately, when he went to, to seek medical attention, the person who attended to him did not check whether the tendons are okay. So, ndugu wakapona, lakini alipopona, of course, kidoda haki could take very long, alipopona dio aligudua vidole vitatu wa vifanyi kazi. Dio, kuenda kuchekiwa, mushipa umerudi pandehi, ule ulikatika umejivuta huku, na huu mwingine uko huku. Na ikawa ya kwamba mukono wake sasa anaweza fanya kazi na vidole viwiri peke yake. At that time, praise the name of the Lord. We continue to talk, to share, pray together, talk about the word of God. God is our healer. We were looking for money. At that time we were poor. And when I say we were poor, we were poor. Tuliku hapo nyuma ya maskini. So there is nothing you, cannot, you can do. You cannot give him even a hundred bob. You cannot afford. Praise God. So you are trying to see how to raise money so that he can go for a proper medical attention where he required a surgery to enjoin the, the tendons. Mishipa ishikanishwe tena. But in the process of time, and we kept on talking, we kept on encouraging one another. And I kept telling him, uh, Gerard, believe the word of God. He is able to do it. We talked and talked. At one point, one day, alikuwa amerara. Akiwa amerara. Akaona Ati sikubuki aliona akifanya, alikuwa nafanya kazi gani. Lakini akaona ati ya meagalia mkono wakasema, hai ya. Mkono wangu vidore viangu vinafanya kazi. Ati anaona, anafunga, anafungua, anafunga, anafungua. That is what he saw. Then, akaamuka. Alipo amuka, immediately ile doto, ama kiri alikuwa naona, aka kikumbuka. Aka sema ni meona ni kifanya. Aka fanya mkono hivi. Vidore vika jikuja. Aka fungua. Vika funguka. Aka kunja. Vika jikunja. Aka fugua. Kuagalia mushipa umeshikanishwa. Even to date, haku weda sajare. Alirudi kwa daktari, haka muambia daktari. Ati ulisema razima nifanyue upasuaji, haka muambia dio. Ni razima. Ni razima. <laughs> daktari ya mestuka. Praise the name of the Lord. What am I talking about? There is a God who can do what no man can do. But the word will never work until you teach yourself to believe the word. If you don't believe in miracles, what was that? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What was that? If that was not a miracle. I tell you what we were unable to do, what the people refused to do for him. God did it for him. Stand on the word of God. Wacha kukaa ukifikiria kama hii maneno imeandikwa Biblia ati watu walipona inakuaga ni kweli. Na kweli kivuli ya pita kivuli sasa eh mtu anapita hivi. Halafu umerara hapa. Eh. Yaani unajaribu kufanya hii my imagination unaona hii hapa wewe oh, ni mzugu anatuchezea akili. Mzugu alikuja na Bible. Je, anatuchezea nini? Akili. 
Just because uliona kwa TV ati muganga amekulisha watu nyasi. It doesn't mean God is not powerful because hajakulisha watu nyasi. Mungu hakuuba wanaume wakule nyasi. Kwa hivyo hawezi wakulisha nyasi. Wakiiba atawasamehe. Maana anataka waokoke. Hiyo si kusema Mungu ni nguvu amekosa. So differentiate between witchcraft and God. Do not be deceived when you see the witches they are doing this. Atimwizi ameiba TV alafu imekatalia kwa mugongo. Sasa unaona kama mugaga ako na nguvu kuliko Mungu. Wewe hujui Mungu. Bwana asifiwe sana. What I want you to understand is this. There is a word you must believe. There is a word you must stand upon. The promises of God are yes and amen. If he said he will heal me, he will do it. Bwana asifiwe sana. Si nimewapa anga ma testimony zangu hapa. Wakati mmoja tuliombea jambo fulani, nilikuwa na tuvitu kwa mkono. Nafikiri it was the right hand. Arafu on the left leg. Eh? Na tumefura huko tumeomba tumeomba ai tumeshikilia radio tukiombewa hey yes unasikia power ukiangalia bado ziko <laughs> tukaomba mpaka nikaambia mke wangu tuachane na maovi sasa tuamini Mungu na tushukuru Bwana na nikasahau hiyo kitu nikawachana naye hata kuna kitu kaliniambia kwa akili ama Mungu alikuwa anataka tuzikae hivyo so nikakaa nazo lakini one day nimeamuka hata sikumbuki ni nini nilikuwa nafanya nikifanya nikaangalia mkono nikaona hai sioni zile vitu nika unajua confusion unaangalia hata hii gine nikaangalia nikashidoa zilikuwa kwa mkono gani sasa nikamuuliza zile vitu nilikuwa nazo ilikuwa mkono gani hata aliniambia si mikono ni yako <laughs> wewe ndio unajua vizuri so nikaangalia nikajaribu kuangalia nikazikosa Nikakumbuka kulikuwa na zingine kwa mguu nikaangalia hakuna How don't ask me You I can only tell you this when I prayed and I prayed and I believed nothing seemed to happen but one day I woke up and there was no problem Bwana Yesu asifiwe Wakati mwingine nikawa mgonjwa nikafika mahali Nimekunywa dawa, nimeomba, nimefanya, nimeenda hospitali, nimefanywa check up zile zote mtu anaweza fanywa. Ya mwisho ilikuwa ya kikohozi huwa nawaambia nilikohoa na kikohozi haikutoka. Unajua ile unapeangwa kwa kitu ukaweke specimen nikatoka na hapo. <coughs> na <Now>, there's nothing. <laughs> Naye ameketi mahali nikunichekelea tu ananichekelea juu ya vile nimekohoa na hakuna kitu inatoka. <laughs> Nilikarusha nikakatupa. Nikaenda. Tulipofika nyumbani nikasema sita kunywa dawa zingine. Na dawa zile nilikuwa nazo nikachukua nikatupa kwa choo. Nikasema if I die I will die believing. If I'll be healed I'll be healed as I believe in God. Praise the name of the Lord. Na wakati huo tukatuka toka nikaenda maombi mahali nikamaliza siku sijui kama zilikuwa tatu ama ni gapi nikamaliza nikarudi nyumbani na nikaamini Mungu mambo yatakuwa mazuri. Siku moja ndio niliamka Nikafanya mavitu zile sigefanya nikashidwa hii na kwani nilipona How don't ask me but I'll tell you this I woke up one day healthy no more praise the name of the lord what am i talking about you have to anchor your faith on the word of god na nimekwambia neno hili ambalo tumeamini lina nguvu lina uwezo wa kubadilisha mambo but the word works when you follow the three steps ambazo tumesema number one, you hear the word number two, you receive and believe the word number three, you act upon the word utebe na lile neno kama neno lilikwambia Mungu anaweza kukuponya kuna mtu aliambiwa na Yesu nyosha mkono hakuanza kumwambia sasa unaniambia ni nyosha mkono auoni Aujui ya imejikuja? Bwana asifiwe sana. Kama jamaa mwingine alikutwa na muhubiri alikuwa anaitwa Wigglesworth. Akaambiwa alikuwa na, na kwa wheelchair. Akaambiwa simama. Akasema, "Oi, siwezi kusimama." Unajua alimkuta alikuwa na ear arthritis. So amefungwa mabadage kila mahali kwanza kwa joints kwa sababu ya joto at least asisikie baridi sana. Si mnaelewa hiyo ugonjwa. Ina affect sana mtu na baridi. So amekaa hivyo amefungwa hivyo alisema mfungue akafunguliwa mavitu zote zile alikuwa amefungwa alafu mtu wa Mungu akamwambia simama akasema siwezi 
akamwambia siku kuuliza kama unaweza nimekwambia eh hey, jamaa akaona nitagongo hapa akasimama akaambiwa tembea akasema i can't walk akaambiwa i have said walk and he said no i can't walk unaona kusimama alisema hawezi na akasimama lakini kutembea akakataa muhubiri akajaribu akakataa alirudi nyuma yake akaondoa ka wheelchair akarudi nyuma alimkanyanga mateke jamaa ametebea ugojwa ikaishia hapo uwete wake ukakwisha there is a word that you must hear and believe praise the name of the lord and let me teach you something that is so important and i don't want to make anything of the people who stand on the altar mtu anaweza simama hapa aseme wakati tunaimba tutapona haleluya we kama ni mgonjwa shika hilo neno ni lako wakati anasema tukiruka ndio ndio nguvu za uponyaji zitakuwa zinashuka hapa hiyo ndio siku unatupa ma, mafikira nje unachukua imani unasimama juu ya neno si muhubiri ya muibaji amesema tukiimba tutapona you sing with your heart and your faith you will be healed shida ni unamwangalia unasema hasa haka kama mtu kanatuambia namna na unajua wacha ni kuambia watu wale Mungu amenehemisha eh, kufanya kazi yake wengi hawana sura nyama ziliwakata hata ukiangalia grupu ile inasimamanga hapa ukiangalia mwili hakuna sasa dio saigine utajaribiwa kuwa doubt kwa sababu unashidwa na kwa nini haiwake kwao kama mtu kingine kanaweza simama hapa na nywele inakaa kama imetolewa kwa msitu ikawekelewa kwa kichwa lakini ndiko Mungu ameamua kutumia siku hiyo if you cannot believe the word of that servant hata kama anakaa na nywele ni mbaya unakumbuka kuna watoto waliona Elisha badala ya waone nabii walimuona nini kipara na wakamuita kipara kwenda kabisa kipara huna nywele kwenda na ili watu wajue gubu za Mungu akasema siba kura watu <laughs> Fe, eh, waliku, waliwa wagapi eh? watoto wengi wakafukua akakufia pale sababu ya kucheza na mtu wabaya ako na mafuta hawakuamini lakini watu wa Jericho walipomuona walimwambia man of god maji yetu ni mbaya tusaidie na akawaponyea maji yao praise the name of the lord sasa shida ni hii wakati Mungu anatumia wale wamesimama maana wengine wanatumua na Mungu I let me tell you this there are so many people who miss the miracles that God was doing because they missed the word that came from somebody on the altar amen mtu alikuwa kwa madhabahu alikuwa na neno kwa ajili yako mtu alikuwa kwa madhabahu alitumwa na Mungu hebu nikuulize mbona huyu mtu siku na siku tunaiba hapa na hatutaji watu wagojwa kwa nini siku ile wewe umefika wewe ni mgojwa ndio Mungu anataja ya kwamba na wale ambao ni wagojwa ninasikia kuna neema ya uponyaji why would god speak when you are there do you know there are days we preach and we release people without praying for them mbona siku hiyo umekuja na wewe ni mgojwa ndio mhubiri anasema mtu yeyote mgojwa akuje hapa bele na wewe unasema watu Abwe gine hata unaweza angalia vitu zingine. Unajua hata kuaguka hapa utoke ukiwa wa white. Kitu tu inafanyanga wengine kushidwa kupokea muujiza. Tu anaona sasa nitatokea pale, alafu nitaenda kuaguka hivyo tu. Alafu nitaenda na vubi nyumbani. Na kanisa la leo ndio miujiza ilienda. Sababu watu wengi hata ukikuja kuombea unasimama na ango. Benye hata pasta akikusukuma uwezi anguka. Sasa wewe asisemi huwa tunasukuma watu lakini inamaanisha hata ukijiangalia venye umetokea uko na design ya kujidefend ni kama umeenda vita sasa wewe utasaidiwa na nani unaogopa uchafu sasa ni gani utachukua si uende na neno we wachana na uchafu ukianguka glory to god na wengine muache kuogopa. Wenda nyumbani unakaa kama fuko. Unajua muru. Enda watu wakuulize niki kwa kwa kuete. Wabie hehe nguete pio nimeanguka kabisa. He pole. Unawambia si ya pole. Nilianguka nikipona. Haleluya. <laughs> Unajua wengine hapa mungekuwa batimayo hata sayi ungekuwa bride bado. Maana unasikia Yesu alafu unamuliza niki. <laughs> 
Unajua hauoni ni nini? Anakuambia nimetema mate. Ni ya nini? Anakuambia nataka kukoroga nikupake. Unaenda kabla hajakoroga. <laughs> Maana mimi kirago unipake matope. Unaenda kabla. Salimia Batimaye waliyeketi karibu na yeye muulize kama ungekuwa Batimaye, ungekuwa unaona? <laughs> ungekuwa unaona? Bwana asifiwe. Kama wengine hapa ugekuwa zakayo, ugekuwa umeokoka, ama ugekuwa bado mwenye dhabi maana jamana, sasa shuka, nitakura kwako. Agina wanga, wee, enda kule ulikuwa unaenda, hatukuwa na mpango, nata sijabia mama, <laughs> mama hajapika kitu. Lakini zakayo wanashuka piu, anakuja anasema my road, you will be my guest today. You will come to my house. Oh my. Zakaya wanaita marafiki wake wote ma tax collectors. Wanakuja wanaokoka. Lakini wengine sasa neno linasemwa lakini kulichukua kuliamini. Gumu. Gumu. I remember one day I was used by God. We were in the church. And uh, I talked to I, I don't I don't even remember what I was talked about but I said hata uh, wale ambao wako shule hawaperform wakuje tutaomba pamoja na Mungu atawasaidia. Wacha ni kuambie. Watoto wamekuja bio. Wanataka kuwa namba? Tukaomba. Na walikuwa. Walitoka na huko nyuma wakakuja huku mbele katika masomo. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini wewe neno litasemwa unaangalia unaanza kulifanyia multiplication minus na into brackets. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, divo kumesemwa. Eh, na hili neno litakuwa. Sasa hiyo mahesabu unafanya, you get lost. God cannot fail concerning his word. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse number 9. Concerning the covenant, he says he shall keep or he will keep the covenant. Chapter 7 and verse number 9. The Bible says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. The faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. He is a gracious God, faithful. He keeps his word and his covenant to those who love him even for a thousand generations. Kama mungu kuna aganu ameweka, akagana na watu ya kwamba mimi ndimi mungu nitakaya wafungua. Mimi ndimi Mungu nitawatoa katika utumwa. You can stand on that covenant. Praise the name of the Lord. I like it when you read your Bible in the book of Genesis 50. Genesis chapter 50. And because I know there are people who are strangers with the Bible. Let me read verse number 24. And Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die, but God will visit you and bring you up out of this land. To the land that he saw to Abraham, to Isaac and Jacob. Then Joseph made the sons of Israel swear saying, God will surely visit you and you shall carry up my bones from here. So Joseph died being one ten years old. They embalmed him and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. Joseph akambia duguzaki. Mungu wa baba zetu Abrahamu Isaka na Yakobo atawakumbuka mimi sitakuwa ninasikia nikufa ninakufa but the word of God the covenant will come to pass akawaambia mifupa yangu isiachwe hapa huwa nawauliza unafikiri Misri kulibaki mifupa ya watu wangapi wa Israeli unafikiri Misri ni watu wangapi wako kule ambao ni wa Israeli walizikwa blessed be the name of the lord what am I talking about? People who never believed in the word of God. People who never believed in the covenants of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati Yakobo anakufa, anaambia watoto wake, hiyo ni katika chapter 40, 40 what? 49. Praise the name of the Lord. From verse number 28, if you read your Bible, it talks about when Joseph, eh, Jacob died. He told his sons, and you shall carry my bones and bury them in the cave of Machpelah, which I bought which my fathers bought, and they are buried in there, where I also buried my wives. Uh, uh, is it Leah? Yes, where Leah, I, I, I buried my wife Leah. Amen? 
Yaani anasema huko ndiko mtanipeleka. Msinizike kila mahali popote, nizikeni kule kwa sababu hata nyinyi mtaenda huko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Niliwaambia wakati tulienda Israeli, kaburi lake liko hata mifupa ya, ya Jacobo iko hapo tu. E, Ibrahimu, ya Isaka na ya Yakobo, na Lea na Sara hiyo iko. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mafunikwa vizuri. Vile tu walizikwa wako tu huko. Ninataka kuambia they believed their sons will dwell in that land. They believed in the covenant of God and they stood upon the covenant. Praise the name of the Lord. Ni agano gani Mungu ameweka? Niliwaambia wakati mmoja miaka mingi iliyopita nilikuwa na ombi ambalo nilikuwa naomba. In fact it was like a song. And uh, not like a song but it was a song so the song used to motivate me into prayer na nikawa ninaomba mungu usiwahi nisahau mungu usinisahau siku moja mungu akanitokea akaniambia never make that prayer again and i was surprised hey god what do you mean nisiombe hivyo tena kwa nini akaniambia i have sworn in my word i will never leave nor forsake you akanifundisha akaniambia ni wewe tu unaweza niacha lakini mimi siwezi kukuacha ombi langu likageuka na mimi sasa niliacha kuomba Mungu usiniache huwa naomba Mungu nisaidie nisikuache maana wewe hakuna mahali unaenda wewe hauachani watu na watu wewe hauwezi sahau watu mimi ndiyo naweza kukusahau praise the name of the lord the covenant and he told me that word is a covenant i will never leave nor forsake you stand on that word hallelujah are you blessed sana ona saa zangu zimekwisha nasijamaliza praise the name of the lord so my brethren It is good for you. Let me wind up the other two in the next service so that we can also have a good time to pray. Na leo asubuhi ya leo sijui nani anatuongoza katika ibada lakini nataka tupate nafasi nzuri. Nafasi ya kuomba kitu cha kwanza. Nataka tuombe Mungu akili zetu zifunguke kuhusu neno lake. God open my mind concerning your word. Now let, let me read Luke chapter number 24 is it 24 Yes let's go there briefly because this word will lead us to prayer and I want to encourage even those watching us in your house uh, the place of work you can also join us in prayer Verse number let's begin at verse number 44 Then he said to them These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled look at verse number 43 what does uh, 45 sorry what does the bible say can we read together number one to go then he opened where goja 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 watu wengine hawajafika huko luke 24 all right luke 24 whether you are reading a soft or hard copy we don't care we just care for you to read the word verse number 45 one to go Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Come on, read it again. He opened their understanding that they might understand the scripture. Unaweza ishi na neno lakini haliingii. Halifiki kwako. Na hivyo ni kusema neno lile wakati lita neno na saa hizi kama kuna kitu ambao shetani anafanya ni watu kusikia neno lakini halifiki kwa akili haliingii kwa moyo neno linasemwa watu wanaketi kwa ibada ni siku zipi watu wamefundishwa kama siku zetu jameni wakati wetu tv unafungulia ati kwamba I, i believe many of you watch faith tv faith tv 24/7 the word of god haleluya mbci tv neno linakuja asubuhi neno linakuja saa saba, neno jioni wapendwa ni kizazi kipi kimefundishwa kama kizazi chetu leo hii Kenya unaweza eh, sikiza neno kutoka nchi za nje litapita litafika kwako watu wamefundishwa 
lakini understanding imefungwa bado Bwana asifiwe sana I want us to pray and pray sincerely and faithfully to God ya kwamba Mungu si unifungue nipate kusikia hili neno na nisisikie tu lakini nipate neno langu ya kwamba wakati ninaingia katika Biblia ninapoingia katika ibada ninapokutana na wapendwa ninapoongea na wadugu wacha neno lako lieleweke kwangu jina la Bwana libarikiwe maana neno lile utakaloelewa unaweza simama juu yake neno lile unaweza elewa unaweza tembea nalo na neno lile unaamini litafanya kazi katika maisha yako Bwana Yesu atukuzwe haleluya nataka tuombe understanding namba tu nataka tuombe mioyo mioyo yetu ya kwamba neno lile tutasikia litaweza kushuka mpaka kwa mioyo when we talk about the heart see hii moyo inapiga i am just giving an example nikifanya hivi eh maana wengine watajaribu kusikiza kama amesikia ku aziwe limeanguka kwa moyo hapana sio hivyo kuingia kwa moyo ni kusema namna gani neno lile hata ukienda urare haliodoki neno lile hata ukikutana na challenge bado unalisikia bado linaongea huko ndani hiyo ni kusema lilifika kwa moyo lakini try to imagine some of us in our challenges we never get to the point whereby we can argue with the arguments with the word of god the day you find yourself arguing with the arguments with the word of god the word has settled can i speak this word again siku ile utajipata argument zile zinatokea unaweza bishana nalo na sio kwa argument ya akili lakini kutokana na neno litokalo ndani ujue neno limefika lakini ukijikuta argument ikitokea neno linapotea ni kusema ya kwamba neno lile unalosikia hakuna siku linafika kwa moyo neno lile lifikaro kwa moyo ndio neno hushindana na maneno unajua tatizo la Eve ni kwamba neno lile alilosikia alisikia na Adam hakusikia na Mungu na nafikiri alidoubt kama mzee alikuwa amekula matunda ingine hapo kaalibikiwa na akili kama jamaa mbona matunda mzuri hivi isikuliwe praise the name of the lord of course biblia ijaandika kila kitu most likely aliabia shetani niliabiwa na my husband na yeye alikuwa ameabiwa na na Mungu kwamba tusikule matunda tusikufe shetani akaanza kumuongelesha agalia vizuri hata hata utumia akili neno likaondoka argument zikaingia zisizo na neno praise the name of the lord if god says like now the word in the book of psalms chapter 118 where david said i shall not die but i will live to declare the goodness of god the greatness of my god when the devil brings death close by unasikia mpaka kifo unajua unaweza lala hivi unasikia umekufa ni kuorakwa i remember one day na nimewapea hii testimony mara nyingi i had a sickness that uh, uh, remained in me for about 14 days na siku kumi za mwisho zilikuwa very dangerous because nilikuwa ninajiona ni, nimeondoka kwa mwili ninaona ninapanda and i would go ninapanda ninapanda I, I, what i cannot tell you is how it was happening but i could see myself ninapanda mpaka ninaona mwili wangu chini na ninaona watu wakipanga mazishi wakipanga mambo e, mpaka kuna ma, ma, mambo nasikia sasa nani wanapaswa kubeba jeneza lako alafu nasikia sauti na niuliza na sasa nani ataabia mama umekufa na unakuanga singo you know i was not married at that time so yale maneno ninayasikia ninapanda mpaka ninajikuta mahali ambapo nasikia huu ndio mpaka wa dunia na bingo ninasikia nikivuka pale nimeenda and i would remember the word of god and i would say no i shall not die i will live to declare the goodness of god then ninaona ninashuka prrr, kwa mwili ku ninarudi and it happened for the last 10 days praise the name of the lord almost on a daily basis i would rise up ninaona nimepanda mara hata tatu kwa siku 
Ninaona nimeenda, ninarudi. Ninaenda, ninarudi. Lakini kuna neno lilikuwa linanitia nguvu. Sitakufa, nitaishi, nitangaze matendo ya Bwana. I am talking about the year 1997. Praise the name of the Lord. 23 years down the line I'm here to tell you the story. I lived. The word has a life and a power in it. Wakati neno lina argue na argument. I have told you many times. The devil can argue with you concerning where you are born and how you are born and the name you are given and what happened to you and how many witches and how many sorcerers and how many what the devil can argue with you anaweza leta maneno hapa maneno pale lakini kuna kitu moja nitakwambia satan has no argument concerning the word of god do you hear what i'm saying the devil has no argument concerning the word hili neno hakuna mabishano na shetani anajua imeandikwa si imesema musikule anajua kwa nini muliagua musikule na anajua usipokura umemushinda Matthew chapter 4 and also Luke chapter 4 you know the story Yesu aliposhindana na mashetani ama na shetani mwenyewe mara tatu alimwambia it is written it is written it is and the bible says that at the time shetani aliondoka and he left him for a time praise the name of the lord after it is written the devil must leave ah bwana asifiwe unajua nakutayarisha kwa sababu tutaingia katika maombi na nataka uombe neno liingie kwako neno lifike katika moyo neno lianze kujenga katika maisha yako because we, we can argue about where you are born we can argue about your relatives we can argue about whether your mother was a sorcerer or a witch but we cannot argue concerning the word of god The Bible says before you were born before I created you in your mother's womb I knew you na nikakuchagua uwe nabii haleluya somebody say I am chosen for a destiny hey somebody say I have a destiny to fulfill Bwana asifiwe sana na hiyo ni kusema hivi shetani yapende asipende ameze wembe ameze sindano ukweli wa mambo ni huu imeandikwa nilizaliwa for a purpose kuna mahali nimegawiwa na Jehova nimewafundisha kuomba na neno Biblia inasema Acts chapter 17 and verse number 26 the bible says aliumba dunia akaigawa akaweka watu wataishi majira gani there is a reason why i was not born with adam kuna reason kwa nini mimi si mtoto wa nuhu mimi ni mtoto wa baba yangu kuna reason kwa nini nilizaliwa Raikipia, nikalelewa Raikipia na Nyandarwa, nikakuja nikakaa Ruiro, there is a reason. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I am not an accident here. And I'm standing on the word of God and this is what has made me stand even today. Hallelujah. Nimewaambia kama ningekuwa nasikiza watu, hii kanisa haigekuwa hapa kwa sababu kuna watu walikuwa wanaona nigeenda kuingine. Ugekuwa wapi leo? Na watu wengine this was the only way for you to meet me. This was the only way for you to find a place. Praise the name of the Lord. This was one of the reasons ambao niliamini neno la Bwana. Na wapendwa niwaambie tumekaa kanisa ambao watu ni watano. Tumekaa kanisa ya watu kumi. Tumekaa kanisa wakati mwingine kukawa na, na watu jeuri jeuri kwa kanisa. Tukafukuza hata hawakufukuzwa kwa matangazo. Walijitoa wakati niliwakwesha njia zao. Kanisa ikapugua ikawa kama nusu. Bwana asifiwe sana. But there is a God in heaven. Ambaye alinituma na neno, akaniambia enda Ruiro, akaniambia ule ndio mji wako, enda uhubiri neno. Here I am. I am standing on the word of God. The work you see, the millions that have been used to the, to do the work of the Lord, it has been because of the word. Lakini wewe anza kuagi una mashetani. Mashetani itakwambia, hata kuna watu waliniambia utauawa. Nikawaambia I will not be the first one. Hata wanafunzi wa Yesu hakuna mtu yuko waliuawa si ati nitakuwa the first one na wakasema I'm very arrogant lakini I was standing by the word of God maana aliyenituma alikuwa anajua siwezi kufa kabla sijafanya kazi yake na huwa nawaambia hata ukasikia kulikuwa na hadhi kuwekelea hii tafadhali usinitafute mochale the fathers you can go ni word in case I was injured Mnaniangalia aje nimesema usinitafute mocha leo unasikia vizuri hebu salimia jirani umwambie umeambiwa hata usikie nini usitafute pasta mocha leo 
uh, tafadha we mwambie umeambiwa in case ni wewe utatuma usinitafute wapi mwasha nitafute mahali kwingine nitafute kama nilipitia jia hiyo ingine ambayo haikufungana lakini usinitafute mwacha i'm standing on the word of god i cannot die until i fulfill my purpose i know this is the word of the lord and i want you to have the same faith by the word of god that even though ninatembea katika umasikini leo lakini sitadumu masikini milele ninaweza kuwa nina challenge ya kulipa hata rent huenda ikawa hata kuja kanisa umepitia jia ya mkato maana uwezi afford fifth ya kulipa kadudhika kufikishe that is not an issue to me i am standing on the word of god god told me there will be millionaires in this house and i'm not expecting millionaires from if they come glory to god but i'm expecting god to raise millionaires here sasa ubaya wako ni vile hata ukiniangalia unashidwa mimi milionea leo hao ni wote na wakurabiria kwa sababu hauamini nabii niliwaambia hivi tutakuja tutatebea tutasonga tutainuka katika jina la Yesu hakuna vile tunaweza fanya hii maombi yote tunafanya and then we remain the same hakuna na no 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 praise the name of the lord so mimi nataka usimame uombe Mungu ya kwamba open my eyes open my ears to you are what na ukubali neno lako lifike katika moyo wangu Yesu akasema hivi Watu hawa wangekuwa masikio yao yanasikia na macho yao yanaona neno langu lingewafikia waweze kulifikisha kwa mioyo na kuliamini wangeokoka Manaka ni kusema kuna deliverance hutokea wakati mtu ameshika neno Si niliwaambia kuna deliverance by the word of God Iyo deliverance haifanyiki ati automatically hapana inaweza chukua muda but i can give you assurance it will happen somebody will be delivered Bwana Yesu asifiwe leo nataka tuombe tukataane na maneno unajua moja ya vitu ambavyo unabidi kufahamu neno huodolewa na maneno na maneno huodolewa na neno can i repeat myself again the word of god is removed from your life through what and the words that come can only be taken away through the word so ukikubali maneno yake ndio maana nataka ujifundishe kufunga masikio kwa watu hii watu wanakupea kiherehere mingi maneno mingi maneno fote wachana na wao funga masikio mtu ambaye anaongea kwenu anasema ya kwamba oi sisi tulilaaniwa oi sisi tutauawa na hii magojo oi guys sijui hata sijui huku kwetu unajua hata hatujui nani atazika nani waambie hiyo ni maneno yenu muniondoe kwa hiyo hesabu na huwa nawaambia saigine kuwa mweda wazimu saigine waambie kwa hiyo kitu nimejiondoa hata unaweza itisha tumaji ebu ebu kuja na tumaji na kajaga kuja na tumaji na kajaga na karaye Oga mikono kama pirato waambie kwa hiyo mumesema mimi kuligana na neno siko hapo na nimeoga mikono kama mnataka kufa kufeni nitawazika mimi niko area lakini sio unajiigiza hapo mpaka unaanza kulia na unapagusa machozi kizungu sio kuna kupagusa kiafrika na kuna kupagusa kizungu please my brother kuwa mtu ambaye unaamini neno Unasimama juu ya neno unasema Biblia inasema a thousand may fall to my left ten thousand to my right but I'll be standing Sio mimi niliandika na huwa nawaambia I was never consulted when the bible was written So I don't care maana mimi sikuwa hapo atinione kama tulifanya mistake Kama kuna makosa ni yeye aliweka nini makosa na sioni makosa neno limechunguzwa limepimwa likaonekana ni kweli Aliposema nimewaambia aliposema nitafikisha watu Kanan Joshua na Caleb are the evidence Praise the name of the Lord Aliposema mimi ni Mungu wa waponyaye waliishi katika jangwa miaka fote na there was no need of a medical practitioner Fote years in the wilderness miguu yao haikufura there are times wangetebea day and night hii arthritis inaku, inakuandama. Hii mifupa yako inaleta shida. Leo uitangazie neno. Uiambie I am a son of the God of the covenant. Ambaye watu walitembea miaka fote na miguu yao haikufura. Uinene yako uiambie get back to normal. Na ndio huwa nawaambia saigine kuwa mweda wazimu kwa maombi. Saigine igonga gonge huko ambako kuna letanga shida. Iambie na kuambia go back to normal. The word nguo zao hazikuchakaa 
You can live na, na vitu zingine achukua literally guo zao hazikufanya nini mambo ya kuingia kwa matatu guo inaruliwa kwa murango kupitia mahali unaenda hivi unasikia prrr. nguo imepasuka wewe simama juu ya neno amini ya kwamba unaweza vaa guo mpaka ikuchose na unapea mtu anakuambia gai umenitolea pande gani ya dunia maana anaona ni mpya lakini sio unapea mtu kitu mpaka unaona mpaka ameza akichukua lakini ana smile tu eh lakini mwoni ana sahui anachukua haraka akienda kuweka alafu hutawai muona nazo maana hata yeye anaona umempea matagali simameni <laughs> tuombe umeshika mambo mawili ya kuomba so tutapewa nafasi hiyo ya kuomba and then as we get into the main service today praise the name of the lord so even those who are at home i want to encourage you to get into prayer we are praying for the word of god to penetrate our minds pazia lile linalozuia neno liondoke bere zako katika jina la Yesu Kristo pazia lile ambalo linafunga neno linazuilia neno likuondoke katika jina la Yesu Kristo hallelujah pazia lile ambalo linafungia neno liondoke katika maisha yako can we get into prayer and then you pray kwamba neno litafika kwa moyo hebu anza kulitamka hivyo neno litafika kwa moyo neno hili ambalo linaponya neno hili ambalo linabadilisha maisha neno hili ambalo linainua walio chini neno hili ambalo Mungu walituma na wakati alilituma lilibadilisha mambo lilikomboa waisraeli lilifungua mateka wakati Dan- Daniel alilijua lilimtoa katika tundu la simba wakati Esther alielewa liliondoa Haman katika jia yake makazala ganda rababu somebody get into the word get into prayer get into prayer in the name of Jesus Christ